here, I'm going to show you how to custom delete multiple rows in Excel at once. I'm going to show you two ways to do it, and it's going to save you a lot of time. One is going to be a very simple way. So let's delete everything with Acme or Roofing. And the other trick I'm going to show you is how to custom delete the rows where we say, hey, I want you to be Acme, and I want you to be either Roofing or greater than five here. And you can add as many conditions to that custom check as you'd like. So we're going to get pretty close to automating the deletion of your rows. But if you'd like to automate Excel even more, make sure to check out my full Excel VBA course on teachexcel.com. I'll put a link to it below this video, and it'll take you all the way from beginner and intermediate level to expert with automating your spreadsheets. Now let me show you how to custom delete your rows. First off, get your data set, then click inside of it, go to the data tab, and go to filter. Once you have filter applied, we are almost there. So let's say we want to delete Tyrell Corp. Get all of those records out of there. We go to that column, and then we uncheck select all, check Tyrell, hit OK, which is off the screen right now. Then we just delete this data. What we could do is to select all of it and hit delete, and then we'd have a bunch of empty rows within our data set, or let me back it up, control Z. We can right click and delete row. Delete entire sheet row, okay. Clear the filter, and there you go. Only Acme records left. Now that can be pretty powerful. You can apply a filter on multiple columns if you'd like. So let's say that we had multiple manufacturers, but we only wanted Acme. And then over here, we only want to get the roofing. And then over here, even though all of these are the same, let's say there's one, two, fifty. We could filter and say number filters and greater than and greater than 250. So you have a lot of options for filtering your data and you can spend a lot of time going through that and figuring out how to do that. Let me back that up because I did greater than 250 when I meant to do greater than or equal to. And 250, there you go. So we can do a lot of filtering, but sometimes you want something more complex. So I'm going to back it up to the original data set now and show you how to do that. And the trick here is a helper column. Helper columns are amazing. So I added the custom delete column. It's been in there the entire time, but it was not in the original data set. It was just this. And what we want to do here is to create a formula that will return true or false. True means we want to delete that row. False means we do not want to delete that row. There are about a million different ways you could get this output, but we're going to go with a very simple AND function with an OR function. So here we say the manufacturer must be Acme and one of these next two conditions must be true. Either quantity must be greater than six or D2 category must equal roofing. Now the AND and the OR functions are amazing functions. You must learn how to use them. And I have many, many tutorials on how to use these and logical operators and if statements, and that'll really help you in this scenario. So search through my tutorials to get more info on that. I'll make that formula in just one second, but let's finish deleting the rows based on true. And it's very simple. Select the data, go to filter, go here, uncheck select all, let's go for true. Okay. And then we can delete the data like we did last time. So select it, hit delete to get empty rows or right click delete row to delete all of the rows. And there we go. But now let's us back that up and very quickly, let's go through this guy by making it in this cell over here. Some people find that a little bit easier. So equals and. This is going to return true if every single argument within it returns true or evaluates to true. So here, I wanna make sure that that equals Acme. Note that it is case insensitive. And then I could put as many other checks here. So comma, make another check, comma, make another check. Here, we're going to go with the OR function. So we're going to do two checks within the OR function, and the OR function will return true if any argument within it evaluates to true. In this case, let's check if category equals roofing, comma, OR quantity 
is greater than 6. Close up the OR, close up the AND, and there we go. So the OR function right here serves as the second argument for the AND function. We hit ENTER, and then we can click here, double-click the quick fill handle, and get our FALSES and TRUES. And one last trick if you don't want to add the filter up here, so we could remove the filter like that, what you can do is to highlight this column like that, go to the Home tab, go to Find and Select, or just hit Control F, and then go to Find. For Find what? We want to find True. Within Sheet, by Rows, look in, not the formulas, the Values. Then we can hit Find All, and we can click down here, hit Control A to select them, then we can close this, then we can right click, then we can delete, entire row, okay, and there you go. As you can see, custom deleting rows is rather easy. The most difficult thing is going to figure out the criteria to use in order to delete the rows. But if you do mess up here, since we are not using VBA, you can hit Control Z to undo it. That's it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. If you would like to learn more about automating your spreadsheets, do check out my Excel courses on teachexcel.com. I'll put a link to them below this video, and they may even be on sale. But if you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you can get all of my future tutorials. Have a great week.